Welcome to RC Best Reviews. Today we bring you a review of uh, X frame from iFlight. This frame is called iX5S and it has it have 200 millimeters um, from each motor. This frame is a little bit different because it's on it's not only carbon but is also a composite material on the inside. They claim, they claim that with this composition it will be lighter than a full carbon frame. Um, the frame measures, the, the bottom plate measures sorry, 4 millimeters and it have, let me see if I can measure the carbon plates more or less 0 0.5 millimeters from carbon from each side and the remaining composite material in, on the inside. The frame is as the bottom plate, the top plate is also on composite material on the side and the exterior is on carbon. It, have, it has 2 millimeters it came with camera mounts that are used to attach the FPV camera like mostly brands on market. Uh, later on I will show you with a run cam how it goes on the quad. It came with also a flight controller mount, some landing squids, sponge landing squids, some six millimeters spacers to so you can can um, space your components on the, the the frame. Some nuts, more screws, also so you can use metallic screws to fit over here. So be the base of the flight controller, as you can see it fits over here some screws and nuts with nylon so it can hold the camera the spacers that will give you the 35 millimeter spacers to put between the, the, the two plates and metallic screws so you can hold the spacers to the topping plates and bottom plate. Also came with a strap that have rubber so it can slip. Um, this all came in the, into a, a, a card box and some stickers inside. The link to buy this frame is on the description below. Right now I will mount it and um, put it on scale so we can see if it's light or not this frame with the composite material. This is big, bigger difference from the traditional frames that you are used to be on the market. Let's really see if this makes the difference and put it on scale at the end and wait it. Right now I will leave you with the mounting and uh, after the mounting I will be back with some considerations and we talk a little bit more about the frame. As you can see, 
The frame is already mounted with spacers, aluminium spacers that uh, I didn't uh, mention before. And this this over here is where we would, will be our flight controller. I did not mount this. I call it spacer. Maybe I will put uh, maybe after put over here flight controller. Maybe we can do a little a spacer more and put it over here so we can put the receiver, radio receiver, or maybe a video transmitter. So you can hold with this mounting plate. Let's put this frame like it is right now without anything more on the, over the scale so we can see how many how much it weights. I hope you can see. Okay, let's turn on zero. 69 grams so it's really light this frame over here you can see that it came with a mount to old FPV cameras um, I think it suits mostly of the cameras used on FPV systems like RAN cam or Foxier cams or, or other cams um, I will show, as you can see, I have over here a Swift Mini from Runcam with the adapter because it's slimmer than the space and let's put it, it inside so you can see if it fits yes, as you can see it fits well over here and you have the... you can put some screw, screws over here so you can use the mount you have several positions that you can uh, switch the camera so mostly cameras have this kind of fixation so it will be easy to to use on this frame um, I like the frame um, I have only one thing that I have to, to mention that is if you use the new one the newer flight controllers all in one like Poseidon from iFlight also um, it's not easy to use this strap holes because the flight controller will occupy mostly the spaces as you can see it came you cannot put the straps over here you have to bring the strap below the flight controller to the other side and strap it around you can't strap it like this you know you have to you cannot do this because the flight controller will not allow you to do it this point is a drawback because not not only from this frame but from almost old frames that are in the market because they are not intended and designed to use this kind of flight controllers um, this frame will be part of project with F4 iFlight controller Poseidon from iFlight that and we will do uh, later videos with fight footages and using also this flight controller if you have any question or any suggestion to do please use the comment section below and give us a like if you like this video um, please subscribe to our channel and help us grow and uh, tell us everything you want to know about this frame and we will we'll do it for you till next time bye